So when terrible things happen, oftentimes we find ourselves wondering, what can I do? And uh, so when I suggest tap, I understand if part of you says, no, what can I do that would be useful? I mean, what good is tapping going to do? And so if you'll indulge me for a few minutes, uh, I hope we'll uh, answer that question because virtually all of my work is about helping you clear what stops you from making the positive difference that you can make. So, taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I feel so helpless sometimes, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel so helpless sometimes, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I feel so helpless sometimes, especially when terrible things happen, and I feel powerless to help, I just don't know what to do. I feel like there's nothing I can do to help. And I feel overwhelmed. And even though I sometimes feel so helpless, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else involved because I choose to be free. This helpless feeling, this feeling of being helpless, this feeling of being useless. There are terrible things going on and I feel like there's nothing I can do to help. And that's a painful feeling. And I can be overwhelmed by my emotions. And I'm giving myself permission to move through those emotions. Not that I'm wrong for feeling them, It's not that I'm saying, ooh, I have to tap away those bad feelings. I'm honoring my feelings. I'm a caring human being. And it's normal for me to feel things. I just don't want to be shut down by those feelings. And sometimes those feelings do shut me down. And I don't feel free to take action. I don't even know what action to take. And I just feel stuck. And I'm moving through that stuckness. As I allow myself to relax, I begin to think more clearly. What can I do to help? What are the actions I could take? Maybe I can donate blood. Maybe I can write a check. Maybe I can physically show up and be of service. And I'm clearing whatever might stop me.
Maybe I can allow myself to be more successful. So I can write even bigger checks. So being successful does help others. I'm clearing these things that stop me. And make me feel so helpless. I also choose to see how just doing this clearing work and allowing myself to feel more peace also makes a positive difference because everything is energy so the more peace I feel the more peace there is in the world. We're all connected. So as I clear what doesn't feel like love and peace, I'm clearing that from the collective whole. And helping all of us feel more love and peace. And maybe that'll just help me be more loving. It'll help me be kinder to others. And there's no telling what a positive difference that can make. The person I smile at might be having a bad day. might be com contemplating doing bad things and just a little act of kindness from me could make a huge positive difference maybe I can watch what I say on the internet clearing all the anger inside of me It might cause me to write things that might upset people. Allowing myself to find positive uses for my energy. What's a real difference that I can make? What can I do that'll really make a positive difference? I'm allowing myself to come up with answers and I'm allowing myself to take action. Clearing whatever stops me from taking positive action. Allowing myself to do all the good that I can do. Starting with allowing myself to feel peace. body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. And let go of any belief that you need to be upset in order to motivate you. You can be in a place of peace and make a profound positive difference. Thanks for doing so.